Well, we made it guys. We went through a pandemic. Some of us lost jobs and some of us lost businesses and some of us hit rock bottom. But for some of us, that rock bottom gave us a path to maybe start something new. Something that they always wanted to do. Something that they're like, hmm, maybe, maybe I don't want to go to a work to nine to five, five days a week. And um, I want to do something that I want to wake up and be proud of. And, and I guess this will be my first video. It's about me learning a new skill that I have no clue how to do. It is about chasing that childhood dream. I want to try it. Welcome to my first video. Well, I guess where do I start? It really started off with him. Come on. There you go. Not the army. Just a hat. It's a good hat. I like this hat. This hat is like everything to me. All the trips that I have gone to with. Um, and everything that this hat provided with me. It was a good hat. But... You know, it never really... Focus? Hello? Focus! When I tap my camera, apparently my mic muted itself, so I'm going to use a different mic here. Um, so going back to my old hat, it isn't, it's, it's not in its best uh, shape right now. I've worn it for forever and I have created a lot of good memories, but it's not the uh, pristine hat that I could wear you know to go to a fancy place or even I kind of feel embarrassed even wearing this hat this second part is me showing you that um, that I have purchased a new hat um, and this hat its brand is very uh, well known it's from the I believe the Soren Bros uh, and they're very well known cap manufacturer um, hat but as you can see, it's the shape and the size of it is immense. Um, I guess it is just the style of it, but when I wear it, it just doesn't feel correct. So that's where I'm showing you here. Desk, um, a pencil and paper to take notes about the hat, and a, a tool that you kind of need when you're trying to break down a hat, which is this thing. I don't know what this is called, I just saw some YouTuber use it, so I just got it from, uh, I think from Michael's, I think. Um, and yeah, so uh, I'm gonna break down this hat and see what it's made out of.
Alright, welcome back. So I just finished dissecting it. I hope you enjoyed my speed uh, uh, speed run of dissecting this hat. Um, some of the things that I noticed is that this hat has the most, uh, it has the most threading ever I've seen. I think it has more thread that binds the hat together than the fabric at itself. So. I kind of rushed it. Um, you kind of, you guys kind of saw me using a knife to go through this, but it's no joke. There is, there is so much threading in here that it's just there is, it's ridiculous how much there is, and um, it was it was very hard and it took a long long time, but I finally finally did, right two, and this is this other side, and. Some of the unique things that I've noticed is that it is actually a uh, same size. Um, I think what they have done is they have taken a, a bigger cut, making it shorter, and then threading around there uh, together. So here's that one. The back side has of course the uh, where you could take out the hair if you have it. Um, and as well as the uh, the adjusting buttons on the side. <laughs> this is where I literally just went through with a knife and just cut it up here. But yeah, there's nothing. It's basically the same thing. It's also the same size as this one. So you probably just need uh, two blueprints for this. So it's like like that. Uh, this is just another, I guess, uh, a plastic thing where it makes sure to hold the hat size um, together. So there's that. This is the true skeleton of the hat. I think um, it's something that goes underneath 
to make sure that this threading stays together and then binds it and they have this button thing uh, right here that they put in it, it's literally the hardest thing to take out uh, I had to use some pretty heavy tool to like crack this open and take it out and I still kind of failed it because this part doesn't come out so um, yeah I just kind of ripped it off uh, but yeah so here's this one here's the sweatband um, I think inside there isn't really a uh, a different kind of material actually I'll do a dissection on that one too but it is it feels kind of different to the normal fabric it's a little bit thicker so I guess I'm assuming that it's gonna absorb sweat and then a button right here that I taken out uh, one of the things that I have noticed on the threadings over here is that they they basically went through it multiple times so that it stays locked into the back side. So right here, um, I decided to do some more research by myself through an online search um, and just to know what different part of a cap is and what different kinds of caps there are. And if I'm starting off to make it at home, what kind of materials do I need to buy um, and stuff like that. So, uh, I don't know if you guys don't like watching me just for work, I don't know what to put in, but um, yeah, just let me know. So, I guess what I need is a sewing machine and several tools such as double needle, whatever that is, and some cloth to work on a cap, but I think First thing is first, I need to buy some materials. For now, I'm gonna end the video right here. This will be part one. Part two will be, I guess, after I do some more research and do some shopping and basically come back to you and do an unboxing and start working. Thank you for watching my first YouTube video. And if you like the video, please put a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more or more of this content basically and follow me through the journey of how to make a hat thank you